It is wet roads out there. West many are asking, how long is this going to last? Well, we talked about a little spike in rain overnight. That's what we're seeing now. But by the time we wake up and most of the morning tomorrow will be dry. And the rain we're seeing right now is just light to moderate rain. Nothing severe is expected. And remember, everything I'm about to tell you about is wet and nothing more. I know it's January. We got to clarify that this time of year. But we're going to be in the 70s tomorrow. So yeah, no talk of snow or anything frozen coming from from the sky and you kind of go down the road a little you look at all this rain back toward the Gulf Coast Louisiana and Mississippi that's the moisture that will be in our neck of the woods as we head into the second half of Friday and the first half of Saturday but here we go for the fourth time in the last week I'm about to tell you about highs in the 70s and even tomorrow morning it starts off around 50 which is closer to our daytime high than anything else not an overnight low 55 by 9 a.m. The warm front comes through, cranks us up to 64 at lunchtime, again on our way to a high of 72. And again, the morning time will be cloudy, but mostly dry. A few specks of green here and there on the radar. Check in with Paul and Laura. They'll be here tomorrow morning at 4.30 to update you on the timing of the wet weather. But most of the rain comes the second half of the day from mid-afternoon on into the evening and the overnight hours. And it's a pretty good bet that you're not going to see any pictures like this in the Carolinas. And it's going to be warm enough to go to the beach, but let me just show you a picture of a super sunset from Myrtle Beach. This was uh, last month. Dana shared this with us, and I'll put it on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page. I'm at WeatherWest if you want to take a second look. And I promise you that tomorrow at some point when it's cloudy and rainy and you're stuck inside, Maybe taking a look at that won't be a bad idea. So there's our warm front. Again, that's going to spread across the area tomorrow, helping to warm us up. But it's not going to last forever because we've got a cold front coming through on Saturday. That'll cool us back down. So a lot's going to happen over the course of the next 48 hours. And I just want to show you where we are now. It's 48 now, so our temperatures might come up a couple degrees by early tomorrow morning. And then you see the 60s and 70s down around the Gulf Coast at 11 o'clock at night. That's a little unusual. That warm air is going to spread up into our neck of the woods tomorrow. But it will bring rain, so let's talk about how that's going to pan out. 6 a.m. tomorrow, we're mostly dry, albeit cloudy. A little bit of light rain, some sprinkles, not out of the question, but mostly dry. Through lunchtime as well. As we get into the afternoon, here we are at 3 o'clock. That's when some more scattered showers will start to move in. The evening commute home tomorrow, if indeed you do have to go back to work for a second day in a row. I know that's tough this time of year. Going to have some rain to deal with. Moderate rain possible, too. Keeping the showers around through late Friday night, through the overnight, and here we are at 6 a.m. Saturday. Still scattered showers. But as we get into the second half of Saturday, here we are at 3 o'clock Saturday drier weather, a couple of leftover showers, but late Saturday night we start to clear out and that'll lead us into Sunday, which will be a cooler day, but also a sunny and dry day. And boy, a temperature roller coaster ride is what we're about ready to go on. After 30s this morning, we've got 50s the next few mornings before we're back to the 30s by Sunday morning. So try to keep up with your wardrobe changes. There will be plenty of them in the coming days. So from 70s tomorrow to 60s Saturday, 50s Sunday and Monday with dry weather. And then it gets chilly next Wednesday, guys. Highs only in the 40s. But your 10-day forecast shows us that the 60s will be back again by next weekend. So warm, cold, and then warm again. Mm. That pretty much sums up the next 10 days. All right, it's gonna be rough. <laughs> Thanks, Wes.